I'm Jane King for The Street from the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. It could be a rough day ahead for stocks. North Korea's test of its largest ever nuclear missile is rattling markets. And South Korea is reporting that North Korea could be moving an ICBM to the country's west coast. Gold futures are near a one-year high as a result. Global markets are mixed. Well, Hurricane Irma still days away from approaching the United States. Cruise lines aren't taking any chances, though. They're changing travel plans to make sure passengers stay safe. The cruise lines have already adjusted trips from Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Port Canaveral, and Baltimore. Now, the companies say they will keep an eye on the storm and make further changes if they have to. And jet engine maker United Technologies has agreed to buy aircraft parts maker Rockwell Collins for $30 billion. The offer is an 18% premium to Rockwell's closing price on Friday. Rockwell shareholders will receive $140 per share in stock and cash split between $93.33 in cash and $46.67 in United Tech stock. Together, the two will become an aerospace giant called Collins Aerospace Systems. It's the largest aerospace deal in history. And the New York Daily News has a new owner. Mort Zuckerman sold the iconic paper to Tronk, the newspaper publisher spun off from Tribune. No cash is changing hands. Zuckerman is essentially giving it away. However, Tronk does assume all of the Daily News's liabilities, which includes pensions said to be in the millions. Well, happening today, Fed Governor Lael Brannard will be speaking. Factory orders for August are released. And the head of the Minneapolis Fed, Neil Kashkari, will also be giving a speech. That's a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com, at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.